Woohoo! She's just crossed onto Juma, everybody. So we're going to just tell the guys on the other side. We'll actually tell them in a moment, but let's keep up with her. I'm going to just keep going, otherwise we're going to lose her in this thick stuff. We know how thick it gets. It's going to low range. She's going towards Ledwood Road now, if I can get the car to drive. Yes, we're going to drive. This is fantastic news. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know where Tumba is um, or what, where he's been at the moment. So I don't know if he's on Chitwa somewhere, if she's going for a hunt, maybe she's going back to find him. I'm not 100% certain. But this is going to be really tricky now because she's heading towards this drainage line. We're actually not too far away from where Gwen's den used to be. It's just around here. So she's basically heading towards this fire break. But we won't be able to drive down in there. Let's keep going. Let's see. There was some also some impala alarming just a moment ago, but she didn't seem to be too bothered by them. She completely ignored them and they were quite close. Obviously because she'd been spotted. There's no point going after something when you have well had your presence given away there she is how great was that so patient definitely work. i also need to get hold of mike though desperately because he was the one that helped me with the sighting mike mike for taylor we'll try and stick with her <laughs> let's see she's on that log no, there she is oh there she is Mike, Mike, there she goes again. Mike, come to sorry, come towards Ledwood Road. She's on on Jumana, but she's moving through Makulu Klatin. Uh, she's going north. Oh. Thanks, Mike. Okay, I was just quickly panicking. I was worried that we we're gonna lose her. Uh, let's go back around the Boundary Road onto Gari Main. Sorry, that's obviously a bit thick here. Let's see if we can catch her. <laughs> right, this might be quite nice. There you go, tidy girl. Okay, let me just check. Mike says he's got her again. Mike, does she look like she's going down into the drainage line? Okay, copy, I'm coming in. Okay, so she's still going through here. She need to find a gap back onto the fire break. She's just here. I just want to go a little bit further forward. There we go. Just got a little view of her. So now I need to turn my radio off. It's too loud. I can't concentrate with the voices that I hear from Megan. Turn down radio. There we go. Walking right in front of the car. How great is that? What a beautiful girl. Now, she's also not particularly big. So <laughs> up to we sail I'm out the car now. I'm laying completely flat. <laughs> it's not in the way. The headless safari guide. That's so, so nice. She doesn't look overfed she looks like she could probably eat but she also doesn't look very thin either i didn't see a lot of that excess skin okay mike's saying we can go that's very kind of him Ooh. let's go <laughs> memes you said is she looking for some kind of husband these days maybe it was quite interesting the sighting that Ali of course had she's marking her territory at the moment um, with her in Tingana where it looked like she was maybe being a bit flirty this is what um, actually Dylan said uh, Brent's brother who works at Chitwa Chitwa he says I think he was there earlier and he said that she looked very very flirty so maybe she's coming into Easter slightly earlier it wouldn't surprise me we see this often with leopards they don't all like I said they don't always keep their cub cubs for as long as they should come on girl where are you gonna go I'm glad she's walking on the fire break we will give Mike a turn now once we get a spot to pull over we'll let him come through we're gonna have to play leapfrog of course we help each other out like this so I'm gonna pull up and over and let the leopard move around so no I don't think she's necessarily looking for a lip uh, for a husband and um, as we sit here Joshua wondering if she's in another leopard's territory she, she well this was Karula's territory let me just tell Mike Mike you can carry on 
you're welcome to jump in front there we go we just watch her go around the corner and then we'll let mike take the lead so yes josh she is in another leopard's territory but unfortunately karula is not around anymore so it's vacant there is a lot of competition now at the moment seeing who is going to get this piece of prime property so it's between shadow and her new cub and then of course tandy they seem to be the two that are battling it out well there hasn't been a battle but we often see their tracks all overlapping and then of course you've got hosana and shongile also moving through the land that their mother once had so it'll be interesting to see who actually gets it who stakes their claim maybe they just divide it down the middle and they have half and half which would be quite nice though i don't know if that's really going to happen because leopards aren't kind like that like i always say nature is quite cruel but this is really just amazing to be able to follow a spotted cat this was the last thing that i thought we were going to see i thought i was going to have to wait another year before i could actually have a look at uh, at tandy so whew, finally goodness what a big relief now i've seen most of the leopards that i really want to see we're gonna play leapfrog again just that mike's guess are all taking a couple of pictures <laughs> ryan you said she looks like she's on such a mission this morning she is on a mission she's marking her territory as she goes she hasn't called or anything just yet so i don't know if she's looking for tumba like i said I, i'm not 100 percent certain as to where tumba is we'll just see where she's going We'll jump through, we'll quickly take the lead again, and then we'll do this. We'll pull off on the side and we'll let Mike come through. And we'll, like I said, it's really nice when we do have the opportunities to play leapfrog like this. She's going straight towards the Mulwati now. I didn't actually get a chance to check Twin Dams, so I don't know if there are any impala around there. There's a squirrel on the road, that's what she's looking at. Probably about 50 meters ahead of her. It's just running. That's what she's spotted. The squirrel doesn't know that she's there, completely oblivious. Look this way, squirrel, and then you will see a leopard, but she's standing completely still. Look at that. Oh, crouching. I don't think the squirrel's going to come all this way. I'll be very surprised. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's not a very clever squirrel. But she's laying flat in the ground. See, now she doesn't look like a predator when she was standing up. That, that shape of her body was very, very easy to pinpoint. She's laying flat, the squirrel's just up to there. Oh my goodness, I really want to move, but I can't move now. I want Mike to come and see. No, it's gone off of the road. Let's see what she's going to do next. The squirrel is now up and on this, on a little tree. She's watching it. But I think that tree is covered in thorns, so it wouldn't be a good one to go pouncing on top. Now this wouldn't really be a meal for her, this would be a little power bar, you know, just sort of like grabbing a carrot stick or a, a celery and then off you go, on your way. She would devour it very quickly and then keep going on about her mission. I can't see the squirrel now, I think it's just run off to the left. But let's see, it might just be chasing the sun. Because it is so cold this morning, we've been seeing it every day. The animals are looking for sun to try and warm themselves up. I think she's still seen it. I don't know if the squirrel's now on the little lugs. I'm, I'm, obviously, I don't want to move now because I don't want to give her position away. And we know how scared the squirrels are of the car. So if I start my car, I know that the squirrel's going to run or just run. But isn't that amazing that a fully grown leopard is still enticed by something like a squirrel and she knows how important it is to continuously keep her belly filled even if it is just with small little snacks that's what young leopards do that's what they rely on when they disperse from their mother it's a very tough life for the first couple of months after that figuring out how to actually hunt larger game come on girl what are you gonna do The squirrel hasn't alarmed, so I don't think it knows that she's there. But it also may have found a, another spot to sun itself on the branches. She doesn't seem to be looking in that direction anymore. I don't tell Mike she can, he can just come and drive up next to me if he likes, because it should be fine if he comes from the back. Can you tell Mike that Ledwood Road is here? 
is on the radio to Lex, I think. <laughs> Jenny Animation, you say what patience for an energy bar? Exactly. 100% so much energy is put um, so much patience is put into it I mean I, I've completely changed my whole outlook on leopards now after what Mvula did waiting the entire night to try and catch a warthog then to be showed up by the warthog is a serious serious patience so so yes I'm going to see Mike can want to get his attention sorry I'm just looking back I want him to come and pull up next to us I think Seb let me let me pull off to the side just slightly she's not stalking that squirrel anymore as you can see her body posture is sort of is changed slightly so I'm going to going to pull off here and then Mike can sit in the middle of the road because we don't need much of a view we've got the camera it's positioned quite high so we can also see look down and then Mike can also turn his car so that all his guests can come and see as you can see her just sitting there it is always tough to try and navigate and try and get a good spot that everybody can view but now that she's not too worried about that squirrel anymore, it's okay. I wonder if she maybe hasn't seen something else or so into the distance. That's a possibility. Maybe a scrub here or a steenbok or daker lurking around here, going about their morning. Because none of the birds have even alarmed. And there's quite a few birds around here. There's drongos flying overhead a moment ago, some hornbills. And none of them have screamed, leopard, leopard, leopard. Well, not yet. That could still potentially happen. <laughs> Gillian, it's great to hear from you. You've said that you love the way that they flatten themselves out like this. It is, and it's so important to get down low when you are a big cat, or actually any of the cat species when it comes to stalking. Because the lower you are, especially if it's short grass or on an open road like this, like I was saying earlier, you stop looking like a big predator because when you stand up, you be, you show yourself and you do become. Sorry, what is she looking at? See her tail's twitching now. I don't know what she's maybe seen. There's a few birds edging closer to her, hopping about the trees. So I hope they don't give her presence away now. Uh, so sorry. So laying flat down on the ground like this is very important. And my best thing I've ever seen is actually watching lions stalk in the shortest grass you've ever seen bellies flat on the ground and literally just creeping forward almost like they're moving their toes to grip the ground and then they'll slide themselves forward not raising their bodies at all and that's really really impressive i didn't also until i'd had this particular sighting i never knew that a lion could honestly flatten its body to the ground so leopards obviously you've heard the word leopard crawling i think that leopards do it best also much smaller than a lion too so it is a little bit easier for them. You see that little prinia just fly across the screen as well. So it's edging closer and closer to us. So it knows it's there. Why haven't you alarmed just yet? Unusual. It's not like that little bird would be fearing for its life. It's much smaller and it's quite easy for it to hop around in the tops of the thorny trees. It's actually getting quite cheeky. I'm just watching it bounce about. Maybe she's just having a little rest. Can, do you see where I'm looking, Seb? Just in there. There it is. Yeah, you got it. Well done. Hello, naughty. <laughs> Sitting right on the edge. Very sweet little bird. Why are you not shouting? It's looking down at it, you see? It's actually watching the leopard. Probably about six foot away from that leopard. Not very far. Six, six feet away. And off it goes. It's decided it's not more, no more fun. I'm still scanning in the distance to see if she has seen anything. But nothing just yet. We must have passed. I think we've actually already passed Ledwood Road. So this fire break then goes to in, straight into the Mulwati. We won't be able to go down this fire break. We'll actually have to go all the way around and go through it if she does keep heading that way but that actually worked out perfectly for us I'm glad she's come back home we we'll love seeing her well my first time seeing her but I know that everybody else loves to see her too
Right, now she's being very patient, and I think we're going to be patient too. We've had lots of practice to perfect the patience sort of waiting game that we often have to do when you're with these big cats. Let's go to James and the Mara and look at his beautiful birds.